What's up everybody? This is Mommy Wata and I am back with another channel message for you all. I hope everyone is doing okay. I want to take the time to say hello to all of my subscribers, old and new. Thank you to everyone who supports this channel. All of the love and positive energy that you send my way, I greatly appreciate it. I did post one of the emails that I received because it, particular, it touched me in particular on that day, but I get a number of emails from people just giving me confirmation, encouragement, and I just wanna say thank you and I appreciate you, okay? So we're gonna freestyle. Let's see, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Woo, let's see here, Holy Spirit, what is the message at this time? Please and thank you. What is the message for my collective at this time? What do you want us to discuss, Holy Spirit? These cards are sticking. I can't use these in a minute. Let's see. Let's do one more shuffle, y'all. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for my collective? What are we talking about, Holy Spirit? What, what do you want us to discuss at this time? Let's see. Messages, Holy Spirit. What is the message at this time? We have the Ten of Swords. Someone is <clears throat> feeling defeated. The end of a situation that brings relief, sadness, or both. I feel like someone may even be having to leave a home here. If you see that person has their luggage next to them. But something has come to an end here. We have the five of wands and we have awakening. Okay. So it looks like drama may have been the cause of this ending here. This almost looked like the same person. And it's really giving that they kept drama going, but... They were only keeping drama going for their own life. If you look at this person, you don't see nobody else that they're warring with. It looks like they're warring with themselves. they fighting the air type energy. Okay? So this person has been trying to create conflict for others or possibly is what I'm getting. Or conflict. Somehow they the drama. They the fire starter. But it's only caused drama in their own life. It's not really fucking with the people that this five of wands energy was intended for and they are coming to that realization they are awakening to the fact that they are the cause for their own demise a temporary pause for reflection and insight okay an awakening where you see things in a whole new light this person is starting to really see things as they truly are here <clears throat> What else, Holy Spirit? We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. They're really starting to get... They're, try, they're really starting to get what it is, okay, about this partnership. Maybe they were wanting this partnership to continue here with this Ten of Pentacles and Two of Cups. But it's over with here. But it's like they were not getting that it was over with, I'm hearing. Like they were trying to hold on. It's something to do with a house because I'm seeing the house here in this Two of Cups card here. I'm picking up on something about a house. Like maybe this person refused to leave a home that they were sharing with this energy. We have the Nine of Wands, the Six of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the King of Swords, okay? Okay. So there is a masculine who was trying to move on here. Either this is this masculine in this energy or he was trying to move away from this person that's in this energy. I really feel like this king of swords is the person who is trying to move on with this knight of swords and the six of swords. This king of swords was trying to move on to calmer waters. They had decided to 
you know, move in a certain direction. They were focused. They weren't changing their mind about this relationship here. They cut this two of, two of Cups, Ten of Pentacles partnership with this person and this other energy wasn't willing to let it go with this Nine of Wands here. They holding on for dear life, but whatever didn't happen now, they have no choice but to give this up, okay? And I really feel like maybe they were trying to keep some type of partnership going with this King of Swords by trying to hold on to a home somehow. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. But that's that's what's ending. This was like their last bridge to this person. We had the moon card. Revelations that will make everything clear. Okay. Something was revealed that is no longer allowing this Ten of Swords to hold on anymore. What happened here, Holy Spirit? We have the Ten of Wands. They have to give it up. Something, whatever came out, whatever was exposed, they've been able to kind of hold on to this King of Swords for quite some time. And it was with this home here. But whatever was revealed, they're at their breaking point. They can no longer keep this shit going. That's what I'm hearing. They have to move out of this home. We have the emperor. Maybe there was someone who passed judgment. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. <clears throat> Maybe there was someone who passed judgment about this home situation. Okay. Clarify this emperor card, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> This Ten of Swords definitely, Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands energy, they definitely was doing all kind of shit to keep this situation going. We have the Two of Pentacles. Like I said, they were doing all kind of things, doing too much to try to keep some kind of connection to this King of Swords, even though it's obvious that he wanted to move on, even though it was obvious that he wanted to go into another, go in another direction in his life. We have the Six of Cups. This Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, definitely something is over. I'm just seeing the Ten Ten falling under each other. Something is over, okay? With this Six of Cups, I'm really, I just heard somebody got to move out by the end of the month. Somebody has to move out before Monday. That's what I just heard. <clears throat> somebody got till Monday to move out. And with this six of cups, this 10, this 10, 10 energy, they were really trying to reconnect with this person. They were really trying to keep this 10 of Pentacles, two of cups partnership going. Okay. But this situation was inevitable because it's obvious that this King of Swords, he don't want to have nothing to do with this person no more. And this person was really trying to hold on to this man. Like this is the only way they could do it. But they was going to do that, y'all. We have the five of pentacles to the point that they ain't got nowhere to go. That's the vibe I'm getting. Now, either, this is this king of, this is not this king of swords. I was hearing that this could be this king of swords going through this, but I really feel like this is this 1010 energy. Can I get some clarity on that, Holy Spirit? We have the hermit. This is someone who's going to be in seclusion for a while. You're not going to really see them out and about because they're they're in the five of pentacles. I really feel like this person don't have nowhere to stay. They got to find somewhere to go. <clears throat> we have the magician with the high priestess. And that's probably why my throat chakra started acting up. Because the reason why this person is going through everything they're going through right now is because they were doing a lot of manipulation of all kinds to keep this connection going with this King of Swords, okay? This person was in the magician to the high priestess and possibly was cloaking themselves 
and what I'm sure they were trying to disguise themselves and what they were doing. But it's, been, it's being revealed another way because the level of karma that they're going through, they're losing their home. They're losing their man. They don't have nowhere to go. I'm getting this level of karma that they're experiencing is showing that they must have really been up to no good in the dark. That's what this moon card is about. We have the nine of cups. <clears throat> this person going to be in the nine of wands. And this masculine is going to be in the nine of cups. This masculine is glad to be free. Able, glad that these ties have been cut. I'm hearing. This is what the, where this 1010 energy thought they was going to be at. This magician high priestess we talking about here. They thought they was going to be in the nine of cups. They, they felt like their wishes were coming true. Okay. Doing this, this type of spiritual manipulation to keep this connection going. But God just ain't going for it no more. This woman had this king of swords in the nine of swords. 11-11 on the phone. I really feel like this woman was dragging this man through court somehow. It's something about property in a house. And I believe that <clears throat> this king of swords was trying to break his affiliation with this property. Or he was trying to get this 1010 high priestess energy out of this house. And this emperor finally ruled that she had to go. We have the page of pentacles. Happy news, mischievous. I feel like this high priestess magician energy really felt like they were winning, that they had all the knowledge that they needed, 12, 12 on the phone, all of the tools, all of the spiritual tools. This person be using all kinds of spiritual tools. This person... 1221 on the phone. They 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 big up a lot of different religions, theories, methods. Okay. 1220, excuse me, 1231 on the phone. 123. This person goes from one thing to the next in order to keep the ball rolling in their favor. And they were hoping that they would get a positive outcome. They will pick up a new, the card says, a new area of study. They will pick up a new area area of study when the old area of study, transformation, came out here. I'm telling you, this magician high priestess energy, this hermit, magician high priestess, mess with a lot of spell work. <clears throat> mess with a lot of different tools to get what they want, to transform things in their favor, okay? To level up their life. But now they are experiencing a significant life experience that requires changes to be made. I can't say it no better. The cards say it all, okay? They did all of this <clears throat> manipulation to cause transformations in other people's lives. Their ego is what propelled them to be in this Knight of Wands behavior. But I'm telling you, their ego is being dismantled currently, okay? This person got to move out. Behind, this person has to move out of wherever they're at by the end of the month. And that's sad. That's rough. Like 1414 is just on the phone. It's like they just learned this today. So they got the weekend to come up with somewhere to stay, to move all of their belongings out of the home. Okay. <clears throat> and this person is used to being in the nine of pentacles now. Okay. That's why they was fighting so hard to hold on to this ten of pentacles, two of cups. Because they're not used to this level of poverty, this level of misfortune. This person is going through it. They're in the five of pentacles. 
I'm telling you, I'm picking up this person don't know where they gonna go. Like they trying to figure out where they gonna stay. We got the seven of pentacles on the bottom and we have the queen of swords. This is their energy. They done went from the high priestess to the queen of swords because also I feel like this action that they're taking, they're realizing that they are the cause of what they're experiencing. 1515 on the phone. A lot of synchronicities in this reading. This person, I feel could be in the nine of pentacles if they would use this level of intelligence and inclination they had to be in this, this high priestess magician energy. If they would have put that same energy into a profession, a skill, a passion, they would have had the same results initial results that they got 1551 because the results they got now is the ten of wands and the ten of swords but this person was at one point in the ten of pentacles and the nine of pentacles and i feel like they could have continued to be in that energy if they would have done things the right way if they would have utilized this queen of swords energy the right way a queen of swords can be brilliant okay let's just keep it above this ain't no stupid person 1616 16 on the phone. This is why they were able to be in this page of Pentacles energy and use different spiritual tools, different religions, different practices to transform situations for themselves. Okay? They were able to do this quite well. They were able to have a number of people at different points in their life give and receive to them, give to and receive from them, excuse me, okay? You know, this ain't their first rodeo, okay? With this Three of Pentacles and this Four of Wands, this person, um, they didn't have been down this road before I'm here, but I don't think it's ever been this tragic, this bad. This is like some tragedy type energy. This was a heavy blow to receive, especially... At the timing I'm hearing is just really bad for this person. Clarify that, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Mm, I wasn't expecting this to come out. We have the Queen of Wands. This person wasn't expecting to have to be out here facing so much stuff on their own. But I'm going to tell you, this is a brilliant motherfucker right here, okay? <laughs> I'm going to give them their props. This is a very intelligent motherfucker right here. We got brilliant on this card again, and I'm picking that up. That this person is very smart. They did well in school, okay? And they, they had enough sense that they could have changed the game for themselves in a positive way. They could really be sitting in this abundance they were trying to hold on to if they would have just used their their other wits, their you know wits that that lead to positive endings for themselves, because this them other wits they use eighteen eighteen on the phone, that's caused endings for themselves. But they could have had a bright future now, and I'm not saying they still can't have a bright future. A queen of wands is resilient. There is nothing you can't do. I'm telling you, this person is very, very gifted. Okay? They are. So maybe this is God's way of helping them move forward in a positive way. Move, you know, just move forward to a lifestyle that is more fitting for the gifts that they have because trying to do it the other way don't work for them. That's not what God gave them those gifts for. That's what I'm hearing. Ooh, that's a lot of cards. Let's see. What else, Holy Spirit? Anything else that you want us to know about this, please? And thank you, Holy Spirit. Anything else here? Any final messages? We have the star, the three of wands, and the lovers, okay? I feel like... This person is going to, to really make some changes in their life. Well, they, they ain't got no choice, okay? They finna have a hard time. But I feel like this is going to help them be more abundant in the future. 
okay? The three of wands on this card, it says, be patient and be patient as you decide what's next. This person is going to have to practice a level of patience that they've never had to before because they've always been able to transform their lives in a manner and in a way that that was fitting for them. They're not going to be able to do that anymore, okay? But the universe is asking them to have faith. It's not, you know, they're not done for, okay? They just got to get through this karma. They have to deal with the consequences of their actions. We have the lovers after that. And this is why I'm saying that this person is gifted and that they, they're, they were supposed to be doing something else with their life. They had a divine purpose and they got on the wrong track. And this is a way for God to put them on the right track. I'm really getting that heavy. We got the star to the lovers. Three of wands, the star to the lovers. That means that if this person truly sets their sight on doing the right thing, doing better, healing themselves, okay? Stepping away from all of this spiritual manipulation that they was using, all right? 2112 on the phone. They can have a good life. Their dreams can come true. There is light at the end of the tunnel. They just have to make choices from, from the right place, okay? From the heart and not just thinking on how they can get over and win and not, you know, caring about people and how it will affect someone. They they had no regards for others, people, other people's feelings, I'm hearing. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. We have, ooh, child, we have the Ace of Cups. They had no regard for other people's feelings. So this is going to teach them how to use their emotions in a positive way. This will be a emotional experience for them, okay? With this Ace of Cups energy, they may have, I'm telling you, it says a new home. This person is going to have to find a new home, but... I feel like it's going to also give them a two, 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 two on the phone, spiritual insight. They're going to truly awaken. They're going to start using their intelligence and their brilliance for the better. They're going to eight of cups, this previous lifestyle they've been living. Okay. I really, truly am feel like this hermit magician, high priestess energy out here is about to change their life for the better. And I'm confident that they're going to be persistent and engage in a new start. The card literally fucking say a new start. This dreamer energy here, they're going to grow with this strength energy. Realizing that you're stronger than you know. This person is going to have to go through some shit now. They're not going to get off that easy, but if they can make it through, and if they truly ate of cups this previous lifestyle they were living, they will have a new start, okay? They will have this sun energy, okay? They will. I'm hearing that. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Anything else? It's out here, okay? It, it don't got to be like this for this person. They can be in the King of Pentacles. The sun and the King of Pentacles accomplished. Most of all, grounded. This person is about to truly be brought back down to earth, okay? But if they follow through with this transformation and healing that God wants them to go through, what they, they're about to be forced to go through, ain't, they ain't got no choice. They will have success. There is a light at the end of the tunnel for them, okay? Okay? Anything else, Holy Spirit? Any final messages, please? And thank you. We have the Five of Swords. There's a better way that'll make you happier. Okay? They're realizing that what they chose to do to win at all costs, to have a King of Pentacles even, because he a King of Swords to them now, but he obviously was a King of Pentacles if he was sitting in the Ten of Pentacles with them when they were partnered up. 
Okay, they're realizing that it's a better way to win. And that's what they're focused on doing, okay? They ain't got no choice. That's why I keep hearing. Whatever ruling happened in court today, this person got to move out by the end of the month, I'm hearing, okay? So hopefully they can find somewhere to live before Monday because they that's, that's their first challenge is finding somewhere to stay. And then they got to go from there, okay? So I'm going to end it here. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it provides you with the insight and guidance that you're looking for. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest. And I'll be back soon with another one, y'all. Peace.